like it's sweet over here but let's just say it's hectic okay it's like hectic actually you cannot be tired you know get up pray rap, kada, shaba, the whole time like there are no days off basically you know satan does not like marriage at all at all why am i shouting <laughs> why are you shouting ashley okay wait And welcome back to the fabulous life of a church girl I am so excited to be back on here as you guys already know your girl is officially really absolutely completely married not just legally not just traditionally not just emotionally psychologically but I'm actually married before God we finally did it we made it we married before the heavenly father we went into holy matrimony so i have moved into my husband's house the lady of the house has arrived my life has changed a lot which we're gonna discuss in other videos but so far so good i have been enjoying a wifely hood it's a nice hood over here it's the ghetto sometimes so it's also cute and i am so excited uh what i can tell you so far of becoming Mrs. A completely is that number one marriage is sweet okay now I know what all you married people have been enjoying it is really sweet to live with your best friend to have them around you all the time but number two uh, if I knew nothing at all it's that the devil does not like marriage like satan does not like marriage at all at all and this is why we are under a lot of spiritual attacks spiritual things spiritually a lot of things change when you marry like look when you get married it's not just about the wedding day it's not about the pretty dress it's not about making all your exes jealous wishing that they treated you better when they had the opportunity to it is not about you coming and walking in and having beautiful nice pictures all of this is part of it but spiritually a lot of things change uh, legally things change when you marry a person uh, you are now paying different taxes your name changes there's just so many changes that happen in the earth realm so we cannot we cannot be ignorant to the things that happen in the spiritual realm when we get married which is exactly what i want to discuss with you all today you know i'm bubbly you know i'm um, Ashley so <laughs> this topic is uh, but this topic is actually really really serious so I think I'm gonna get a little bit more serious throughout the course of the video but this is just for the introduction now let's get to business because we have an um, enemy to slay guys let's go so the first thing that happens in the realms of the spirit as we enter into marriage is that we enter into a covenant now all throughout the bible we see god making covenants we are now living under the new covenant in christ jesus which is an absolute blessing and there's a difference between a covenant and a contract the sad thing about this world this society is that they have trivialized marriage and made it into something like a business a piece of paper that has no worth that you can just get out of whenever you feel like it you can just get a divorce but that is not true according to God's desire and God's purpose for this covenant of marriage a covenant is something that you cannot easily get out of it is a pledge that you make to a person despite of the other person fulfilling their terms or their um, part of it marriage is a highly spiritual institution not like this society this world has tried to make us believe and trivialized marriage as a business contract between two people that anybody can get out at any time whenever they feel like it for any reason divorce is not something that works in our kingdom it works in the earth realm but in the spiritual realm there's no such thing as divorce in a covenant or break Breaking a covenant all throughout the Bible we see God to be a covenant keeping God God going into covenants with humanity God going into covenants with families with generations he is a covenant keeping God now mind you he is a covenant keeping God not a contract keeping God marriage is not a contract it is a covenant a contract is something that we do in this world for businesses for any kind of arrangements that two people now the difference between a covenant is it's not signed it is sealed it is sealed 
by blood. The difference between a contract and a covenant is that a contract can have terms of how you can get out of the contract. Um, when you don't fulfill the terms of the contract, the contract is you becomes useless basically but in a covenant even if the person for example the husband does not do what he is supposed to do in a covenant the covenant does not break a covenant is a pledge that you do for life now this is what makes it so spiritual because as we vow as we pledge to that person we are joining ourselves to another person to another human being for life there's no way out of this covenant other than death and that is highly spiritual the enemy knows that and that is the most important decision that you make other than following jesus and accepting him as your personal lord and savior is who you marry and who you go into covenant with when you're in covenant you can't get out of covenant and god is a god who honors covenant god is a god who keeps covenant he's a covenant keeping god that's why he is called that so it, it is a reflection of the covenant that he has with the church and with us as his children as his people so we do a reflection of that in marriage the second thing that happens in the realms of the spirit as we get married is that we enter into a completely different realm of warfare now what does that mean we have always been into warfare like every Christian has to engage in warfare we all have an enemy Satan but what we have to understand is that the serpent didn't come into Adam's life until Eve came into the picture marriage opens a completely new door of warfare they say new levels new devils and it is true you have to know that there are spiritual things and spiritual matters such as generational curses generational blessings um, that their spiritual husbands spiritual wives soul ties all these things will get jealous and boast themselves up as soon as you get married in the realms of the spirit for example if your husband's family or your wife's family has a generational curse that every woman in the family will struggle with bearing children it will automatically because you stepped into covenant with that person affect you unless you break it so things that didn't even concern you before things that weren't even your problem before all of a sudden become your problem because of the person that you have joined yourself with that you have went into covenant with you open a whole new world of warfare guys let me tell you marriage is warfare because the enemy hates marriages the enemy hates families he knows that when he can break a family he can break a generation generation and when he can break a generation he will break nations he knows that and that's why at marriages and unions are so much under attack so if you're not prayerful if you're not sensitive to the things of the spirit the enemy will sift you like weed right in front of your eyes you will see things happening to your husband you will see things happening to yourself you will see patterns of your aunties of your uncles of your great great grandmother repeating themselves because you're ignorant and that's why i'm making this video because i do not want us to be ignorant there are real generational curses just as there are generational blessings that have to be cut off and that have to be established by your marriage so as you enter into this marriage you're entering into warfare do not think that you're entering into it and you're on the honeymoon season and everything is good and nice enjoy life god has died to them jesus has died so that we may have life and have it more abundantly he didn't call us to a life of struggle but he did call us to a life of warfare and he gives us these weapons which are not carnal but they are mighty through god we have a weapon we have a way that we can defeat the enemy with but not if we are ignorant so as you get married you enter into a new realm of spiritual war warfare demons devils spiritual ties that are coming against you because of your union are not a joke and have to be handled spiritually it is spiritual so it has to be attacked spiritually we cannot fight your husband your wife your in-laws your your family and all these people with carnal weapons you cannot fight your husband as if he's your enemy you have to fight your battle spiritually because this is what happens you are in spiritual warfare as a wife as a husband as a daughter-in-law as a son-in-law you are in spiritual warfare at all times there are no days off basically
now this brings me to my third point which i already said new levels new devils but new face new grace okay in every season god gives grace and grace and abundance for us to overcome so my third point is in the realms of the spirit you gain more momentum as you marry it says in the bible that one can kill a thousand but two can kill ten thousand that is godly heavenly spiritually mathematics okay one plus one in the realms of the spirit is not two but one plus one is ten thousand we can kill ten thousands god gives us that grace that valor that strength in the realms of the spirit that might to overcome the enemy to overcome whatever is against us to wage war against whatever is waging war against us he gives us that strength why because now that we are two we have the power to pray an agreement the prayer of agreement is that when you touch and agree when i touch and agree with my husband and I say oh this far have you come no further shall you go we stop this generational curse from our lineage going on immediately it happens because we're in agreement that is the power of unity that is the power that God gives a husband and a wife that when they pray together in agreement that they can kill ten thousands God knows that as a single person you may have your few thousands of enemies coming your way but now that you're married you will have more attacks and more spiritual warfare to bear that's why he gives you the strength and he gives you that grace to defeat the enemy in a double portion in a ten thousand fold you are now equipped with your prayer partner together which is marry a prayer partner not a prayer point when you are marrying your prayer partner together you can defeat anything and anyone that comes against you and that is the enemy's biggest problem in the realms of the spirit you have gained valor you have gained momentum you have gained might you have gained strength to overcome the enemy now the fourth point of what happens in the realms of the spirit when we get married is actually the reason why all of these things come against us it is that we have the ability to reproduce. It is a mystery that God puts a man and a woman together and they have the power to reproduce. Now, this just goes beyond just sex. God's greatest delight of marriage is for us to have godly offspring. Now, I have researched a lot about life before birth because I know that there's life after death. So I understand that there should or has to be life before birth so babies and having children is something highly spiritual i have a whole series about being pregnant with purpose what it means to be pregnant what all of this you know when we look at mary the mother of jesus how she became pregnant it is not just you laying with your man and enjoying yourself it is a highly spiritual thing it says in malachi 2 15 that for this reason god has joined them together because he desires godly offspring it is god's greatest delight that we bring forth and reproduce godly offspring now imagine god sitting in heaven and saying that my nation needs a prophet my nation needs a prophetess my nation needs a deliverer so i am going to go to emmanuel and ashley and i'm going to make them become one join them together and as they do that i am going to release a new child a new prophet an end time general through their union through their marriage now this is making the enemy more nervous than anything else he doesn't care about your wedding dress he doesn't care about your haul he doesn't care about your beautiful makeup he cares about your godly offspring and that puts you especially as a woman under so so much attack i recommend every woman every man to regularly pray over your womb pray over your unborn children because in the realms of the spirit your children already exist the attack always goes against Against our kids and against our children this is why he knows that if he can destroy a father or he can destroy a mother he can destroy a home and make it dysfunctional it comes against the children so the ability to now reproduce under holy covenant under holy matrimony in God's delight for which reason he has joined us together according to Malachi 2 15 it is a thing that makes you a target to the enemy and this is something that we have to be very spiritually aware of Point number five, the thing that happens in the realms of the spirit when you get married is that your covering shifts. You shift your covering. Now, I have always spoken about submission and coverings and all these things, so I do not have to go so deep into it. But as children, as single children, both 
my husband and myself we were under the covering of our parents the bible says that the head of the man is christ the head of the woman is her husband and the head of the children is the mother so the wife's head automatically goes to the children so we are under the covering of our children i was under the covering of my mom and she was under the covering of god or she is under the covering of god but as she gave me to emmanuel i am under his covering and that is spiritually something that is very profound and very important why is it so because also we know that as women our names shift so my last name is no longer my maiden name but it's a new last name and if there's name power in the name of jesus that something happens when i mention that name there's also power in the last name of my husband or something that is spiritually associated with it so now that i'm under the covering of this man as he's thank god under the covering of christ i enter a different league in the realms of the spirit depending under whose covering I am. The best thing that you can do as a godly woman is to choose your covering well because the man who covers you must be under submission to God so that you can submit unto him so that he doesn't endanger your home. Now the covering also that you play a role of is of your home according to Titus 2 it says that we women are keepers of the home or watch women over our home so that also shifts that this home I have the responsibilities to keep out everything spiritually endangering for my husband and for my children and for my home I cannot cook poisonous food I have to make sure that everybody gets the nutrition that benefits them best I cannot allow anything to watch them on TV I cannot allow every friend inside our house I cannot allow every outfit on my kids I cannot allow certain things because that is my position that is where the the role that I have in the realms of the spirit so my covering shifts and the the people I cover shifts so that is something that happens in the realm of the spirit and if we don't have wisdom if we don't apply prayer in these kind of affairs and in these important things over our families our home will be in danger we have shifted in the realms of the spirit a lot has shifted a lot has gone on when we get married I know I haven't seen anything yet but I have seen things guys i have seen i have seen things okay this is why i'm here i am speaking on this because i understand that something has shifted in the realms of the spirit something has changed in the realms of the spirit things that were not against me before are now against me things that i never struggled before with i now struggle with things that i have never thought about i now have to think about and have to seek wisdom at the feet of the father how to overcome it and i want us to not be ignorant because because the enemy really really hates families he hates marriages he doesn't hate weddings he hates marriages that's why so wrong much goes wrong at your wedding because he hates what is gonna come out if you actually make it down that aisle a lot is going to shift a lot is going to change as a woman of God pray for your husbands pray for your children born or unborn pray over your wombs pray over the food that you cook pray for wisdom the bible says a wise woman builds her home but a foolish one tears it down with her own hands so the one number one thing that we need in all of this is wisdom we cannot be ignorant a lot of things are happening in the realms of the spirit uh, life is highly spiritual let us not be fools let us not close our eyes to things that happen spiritually generational curses generational patterns spiritual husbands all these things are things that are going to boast themselves up as soon as you enter into a marriage covenant because the enemy is not happy the serpent will always try to find a way into especially our ears women that's why we have to shut him out we have to protect our homes protect our spirit protect whatever god has entrusted us with in this season okay so you guys i have said a lot i have spoken much as always but i just pray and i hope that this video has helped somebody as i wish it would have helped me and prepared me a little bit more for what i've entered into here it is hectic okay <laughs> let's just put it that way it is hectic and um you cannot be tired that's like the one slogan god always tells me is actually you cannot be tired you know get up pray rak, kada, shaba. 
the whole time like you must be prayerful and i know that when these babies come it's gonna be even more so do not be tired do not be weary of doing good pray in all seasons in this season and every season of your life seek prayer seek wisdom from god thank you so so much for watching i'm also going to make a blog post out of this where i'm gonna write everything even more down so that you can refer to that at all times make sure that you stay prayed up out in these streets especially as this dark season is coming like october november all these kind of things uh december uh, is coming the enemy is looking for blood and it will not be your home it will not be your family in the name of jesus so thank you so so much for watching do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel guys i mean it subscribe now <laughs> subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video god bless you all Bye bye mm -hmm.